Today we're going to talk about artist David Hockney. We've been looking at his work over the years, but our focus right now is his more recent work, his paintings of his home. We are going to choose a region of our home, Virginia, to turn into a painting. To begin, we're going to divide our paper by making four lines. And we're going to label the sections those make with the first letter of a region. So P for Piedmont, C for Coastal Plains, V for Valley and Ridge. Then I'm going to sketch a picture of what that region typically looks like. I'm thinking about environmental impacts and the way people interact with the land. Now I'm picking my favorite to draw, and I'm going to draw it using depth. You have a learning guide that focuses on depth. Use that for reference here to help you get depth in your artwork. I'm using a vanishing point here. You can see a lot of overlapping happening. I'm making my trees smaller towards the back of the paper. Now I'm ready for paint. We're going to be using liquid tempera paint. It's important that you always rinse the brush and keep the palette clean. I'm going to start by filling in some larger areas. Once I have the larger areas filled in, then I can focus more on details. Things like the trees. I can use the back of the brush to scrape away paint. This is called Scraffito. I can layer colors on my paper to get variations of a color. I can use atmospheric perspective. That means brighter, lighter colors are in the front. And I'm going to work like that until my painting is complete. These are some student examples of beautiful Virginia landscapes. What will yours look like? 